How's it going YouTube? Today we're looking at modernistic guitars from the 1950s. You may see Flying V and think stadium rock and spandex pants, but the reality is that in 1957 this cutting edge design was released to the public. In 1957 when the Russians launched Sputnik it became the first man-made object to orbit the earth. Let me read to you what Gibson had to say about the matter. Russia has launched her satellite, perhaps to the embarrassment of the US, but the Gibson folks have come forth with their own first, the futuristic Flying V guitar. That year Gibson decided to come out with two modernistic designs. The Explorer, which was named after the US satellite that followed Sputnik, and the Flying V. That's right, the Flying V is from 1957. UFOs, technology, the space race, espionage, all these things had people's attention, had gripped everyone's attention. The Flying V didn't sell like they had hoped and it was discontinued, but Gibson has been making reissues ever since with the first reissue coming out in 1967. Let's take a look at these two guitars here. This stunning Cherry Sunburst is a 1981 reissue of the Flying V called the V. Nineteen ninety four Lonnie Mac Flying V and Cherry with a Bigsby vibrato. What could possibly be cooler than a Flying V? A Flying V with a Bigsby vibrato. I'm gonna put the link below to Main Stage Music. I wanna give a special shout out to Brad Putt who loaned me these two guitars to show them to you today. I believe this 1981 Cherry Sunburst The V reissue is for sale. So go ahead and give them a call at Main Stage Music. Well that's it for this week. I hope you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Take care.